Hey everyone, it's the Forest Farmstead here, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to prevent creosote buildup in your chimney or in your flue. So, like many others, we enjoy burning fires throughout the winter, both for the warmth as well as for the comfort. But with this comes an increased risk of chimney fires. So, there are a couple uh, preventative measures that you can use to help ensure, um, as well as provide peace of mind, that your chimney will not catch on fire due to creosote buildup. So the first thing that we like to do is build a very hot fire in the morning as well as in the evening. And by very hot, uh, I mean typically around 500 to 550 degrees Fahrenheit. So we have this probe on our flue and use this to monitor how hot the actual the flue is getting itself. If you don't have one of these, you can use an IR gun to accomplish the same task. Um, and you can see it's sitting right around 500 and right over 530 degrees or so. So we'll hold this, um, you know, this range 500 to 550 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes in the morning as well as in the evening. And then we'll turn on the damper and um, maintain a temperature of around 350 to 400 degrees throughout the day. Within the fire itself, it's right around 1300 degrees, over 1300 degrees. And so the volatile gases will um, they'll essentially, they'll go up the, the chimney and they won't combust fully if the temperature within the fire itself is below 1100 degrees. So that's another indicator that you can use to see if you're within the range that will help to expel or help to, to actually burn any of that, that residual creosote in there and ensure complete combustion along the way. Something else that we like to do in addition to this is use this creosote remover by Rutland. Um, about once every other week or you know once a month or so for general maintenance purposes so essentially what you do is you just take a scoop of this and put it over a, a hot bed of coals and then build a hot fire on top of that so this actually creates a chemical reaction which converts the creosote into a benign ash that will then essentially float down into your your fireplace and then you can simply scoop it out with the rest of your ash here so one other thing that you can do here just to confirm that everything is burning hot is come out and check your chimney or your flue and see if you can actually detect smoke coming out or if you can actually just see the convection currents. So um, as you can see here, there's no visible smoke, but you can't actually see the convection currents or the heat coming out. Um, and that's a good indicator again that everything is combusting fully and that it's reaching adequate temperature. The last thing that we like to do, and just as important, is sweep the chimney about, you know, I, I do it at least twice a year during the burning season. For me, this, this has been pretty sufficient and I don't see any significant creosote buildup in there. Um, but before you introduce or implement these methods, specifically the method of burning it really hot in the morning as well as in the evening, you will want to sweep your chimney first to ensure that if there is a significant amount of creosote buildup that you're not going to catch that on fire. Uh, if you don't feel comfortable with this, then, you know, call a professional to have, have them come inspect it as well. But for ongoing maintenance, once you are certain that your flue or your chimney is clean, then introduce these three methods. Again, burning it very hot in the evening or in the morning as well as in the evening, using this creosote remover, uh, in addition to sweeping your chimney, then these should be sufficient methods to help ensure that your chimney will not catch on fire. Hopefully this was helpful. I appreciate your time and hope everyone has a wonderful day.